Barbara Belvisi, the founder and CEO of Intercellular Lab. Our mission as a company is to build system um, so we can preserve life on Earth uh, and also expand it in space. Uh, so to do that, we've been designing inflatable structures uh, inside which we recreate perfect climates uh, to grow plants on Earth, but also to build the first greenhouse on the Moon. We actually just uh, unveil our first biopod build, uh, so it's the first one of a series of ten. Very, very exciting time for the company. <laughs> if you think about agriculture right now, it's really not sustainable. It's using like most 70% of the fresh water we have on Earth, 50% of habitable land. There are only 15 species uh, that are grown and represent 90% of the food that we are eating, which is insane. And agriculture is just destroying so much land that we losing a lot of biodiversity. So what we're trying to do with the biopod is to create those bubbles that are completely separated from the outside world, and so inside which we optimize the use of resources. Um, so we use very less amount of water because it's a sealed bubble. Uh, we equipped the pod with a CO2 scrubber, so we take CO2 from the terrestrial atmosphere to turn it into oxygen, uh, and we don't arm the soil because there is no waste going out of the biopod. So it's like we're trying to bring, you know, space technology back on Earth for sustainable farming solution. So FI Institute is, a, is an investor uh, in Interstellar Lab. They actually joined uh, a year ago. We're exploring how we can bring our first biopod to Saudi Arabia to grow food in desert zone and using less water because water is a, uh, is a big problem. It's not really the energy or, you know, the solar that you can get. You get a lot of sun uh, in Saudi, but it's more the water. How do you reuse it and not consume too much? Uh, so it's, it's more than an investment. It's actually a partner to help us expand in Saudi Arabia. The desert in Saudi is very interesting for us because it's two things. It's on like solving some of the main challenge on Earth, food production in desert zone, but also preparing for future space mission. Alula Desert, for instance, it looks very similar to Mars environment and so uh, um, so it can be a very good testing ground for future space missions. So our roadmap is Earth 2022. Um, next year, low Earth orbit, but we have a full demonstrator of an inflatable module for low Earth orbit by 2025. Uh, the Moon, the target is 2027 uh, with NASA. Um, and we also want to have our system ready to go to Mars by 2030. Uh, it's probably the first flight, probably it's going to be around 2032, 2033. Um, and we want to be part of a of this first journey to Mars. Space is very inspirational because uh, this is the only industry where you have so much international collaboration. And I'm glad to see more people from the Middle East coming into this, uh, this field. Most beautiful vision I want to share about Interstellar Lab is like creating this protecting environment for life we have here. Preserving the species on Earth and also helping you know us doing space exploration, but not only ourselves um, with the other life form with us.